Corey Jerickson, you get traded to the Padres this past offseason from the Oakland A's. What was your first reaction to that trade, knowing you were going to come to San Diego? Um, I was I was very happy. I'm you know, very happy because I'm I'm coming to to a team that has a lot of familiar faces, you know. Yes. And I, I was very happy about it. One of those familiar faces, General Manager AJ Preller. Now he actually signed you out of Curacao, so he's known you for a long time. What is your relationship like with him? Um, I know I knew him since I think I was 14 years old, and yes, yeah, they've been they've been follow all my my workouts there in in Curacao till I signed and till now. What was it like knowing that he still wanted you and had followed your career and wanted to get you back on a team with him? And that's that that feels good. That feels good, you know, and um. I'm here now, ready to, to help the team win. When we see Preller, he's got rumpled clothing, his hair's messy, he's on the phone. How different is he from who you met back when you were 14 years old? It's, it's not much different. It's not much different. He's, he's, the, he's the same guy. Well, you spent 10 years with the Rangers, and then last year to Oakland, and this year to the Padres. Has it been tough learning new organizations? How have you done that? Last year was my first time. Yeah that I got traded. I spent 10 years with the Rangers, saying the minor leagues and, and the big leagues. Oh, it, was, it was very tough for me last year, but you know, this year, I already passed last year's experience, so now I'm more experienced, so I'm ready to, ready to go. And here's a fun fact. When you made your Major League debut 2012, you took the place of Ian Kinsler at second base, and now Ian was here last year as an infielder. Did you learn from him at all when you were when you were younger? Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a great teammate. He always um, was ready to, to help us. Yes. And, you know, I, I learned a lot from him. He's, he's, a, he's a winner. Last year, more errors than normal for you. Was part of that the move to second base? Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I spent most of, of my time playing shortstop. But then I, when I got to the big leagues, I got move around a lot. I think that that's what got to me a little bit, but we've been working a lot this this spring with Bobby. Or since I got traded, I went to his house there in Mississippi and we we've been working a lot and I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling great now, ready to go. So you started in the off season. You went to Bobby Dickerson's house yeah. and you guys worked. What what was that what did those days consist of? What would you do? Everything, everything from baseball to uh, everything. Shooting, everything. Like hunting? Yes. What'd you uh, just practicing on targets. <laughs> yeah, so it was it was like I think like four or five days. So it was it was great. How much did that help? Just going out there and then also getting to know your new coach and getting comfortable with them? A lot, a lot. A lot. That that helps a lot. I got a I got a jump start to to here and now I'm I'm, I'm feeling great. We've seen him working with you guys. He's funny, but he works you hard and drills. How would you describe Bobby Dickerson? Uh, he's, the, he's, he's the best. He's, he's, one, he's one of the best. And I learned, a, I learned a lot from him. With the off season yeah. now, like 20 days, and I'm, I'm already, already way better than I was all my years. Manager Jace Tingler said today that he sees no limitations with you, that you feel very comfortable. So at second right now, how, how would you say how you feel? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. Ready, ready to go and ready to, to get it started and, and help this team get to October and beyond that. I just want to wanna be where I want to be and, you know, with all these years of experience, you know, it's time for me to just, you know, just play and, and have fun. and. I know everything is going to take care of itself. You know, we, got, we got a great team and good teammates and I already know a lot of, a lot of, a lot of these guys by yeah. playing against them. And you know, I, feel, I feel great here and, and ready to go. One of those guys, Greg Garcia, you guys are always kind of having a good time out there working, working in the infield. What can you tell us about him and working with him? I knew him since I played in double A in 2012. <laughs> I play against him a lot. So I knew him from, from back then. Yeah. And coming here and get to play with him again is, is gonna be fun. Now what's it like working with Eric Hosmer, Manny Machado, Fernando Tatis Jr.? What's that been like? Yeah, they're, they're great players, you know, it kind of pushed me to get to their level, you know, and, and be with them and, and win every day.
All right, so you're from Curacao and you played in the Little League World Championship, representing your hometown, right? And you won. What was that experience like? I mean, I know it was a long time ago, but was it pretty cool? Yes, yeah, so it was pretty cool. That's that's the best when you're 11, 12 years old, you know, playing in the World Series like that. It kind of feel like you're in the big leagues. Yeah. Yes, very, very at that cool. age. Any hobbies, Jerkson? Any? Do you like to cook? Do you like to do anything? Golf? Anything? Anything you like to do? Soccer. Well, I like I like soccer a lot. What are you most excited for when you look at your role on the team and what you guys could do this year? Well, I'm most excited for the for the W's that we're gonna put up every night, and I'm ready for that. I have to ask you this before I let you go. You're always smiling. You're in a good mood. Is this kind of who you are? Like you're pretty pretty friendly and happy most of the time? Yes, yes, I, I can't help it, yes. Just always smiling. Yes. Jerkson, thank you so much. Thank you for your time, I appreciate it. Thank you.